I like my iPhone 7 just fine. <laughs> what is this? No! Don't take me away! So, I think many of you guys watching, whether you have an extensive tech background or you're a bit more casual, you guys have at least heard of Palm and you sort of know what their phones used to be like, whether you used to their older PDA-like phones from back in the day or you remember their from phones like the Palm Pre. You guys know Palm, like especially in their later years, they were known for making these smaller phones, but they were kind of cute. They were rounded. They had their own quirky, but intuitive. And I would even kind of inspirational WebOS user, not even user interface. It was an entire smartphone operating system that was competing with the likes of the iPhone, Android, Windows phone to an extent. And, and yeah, so... Yeah, I definitely remember the Palm phones, especially when they started making phones like the Palm Pre. And, you know, of course, they got they got um, picked up by HP and they started making phones like the HP Veer, which was kind of too small. And then there was the Palm Pre 2. There was supposed to be an HP P3, Pre 3 before the company he got basically dissolved by HP they were giving up on the mobile business and at the time they were considering getting out of the computer business but I guess they changed their mind since my mom currently uses a recent HP laptop but I definitely remembered them you know I remember when I was in middle school and I was studying broadcasting my teacher had a palm phone and he actually took he took a picture when I when I went to middle school promotion he took the picture of me and him using the Palm Pre phone. I mean, if he watches this video, that's really nice. But yeah, so after Palm basically got shut down by HP, they just basically just broke into bits. You know, LG picked up the WebOS operating system and integrated it into their smart TVs, and we haven't heard much since. Well, now TCL, oh, who you might know for their TVs, picked up Palm, and we were all kind of wondering, hmm, what are they going to do with the Palm name? Well, now we're seeing what they came up with the Palm name. If you guys saw my thumbnail, and as you could see right behind me, and I'm trying to figure out the purpose of this device. So they're coming out with the Palm. Literally, it's just called the Palm, no prefix. It's just the Palm name you guys used to know and love. And <clears throat> the selling point of this phone is it's basically the mini phone that if you use Windows Phone 7 in terminology, these, the small smartphone that saves you from your big phone like your Samsung Galaxy S9 or your iPhone 10, for example. Which, even when I'm trying to say, I'm, trying, I'm still trying to, like, I'm really trying to think, what is the purpose of this phone? Well, let's first get into the specs of this phone before I ramble on. It's almost silly to me to talk about the super technical specs. Like, you know, in my videos, I usually go over the processor and the storage and all this really complicated stuff. But what you really need to know about this Palm phone is that it's got a 3.3 inch, 445 pixel per inch LCD display, a rear, rear 12 megapixel camera, front 8 megapixel camera, runs Android 8.1, which to be fair for what this phone is, I don't really mind that it doesn't have Android Pie. It can run all the apps from the Google Play Store. It's IP68 dust and waterproof certified. It's got a single USB-C port and no headphone jack. It uses face unlock. It has a single virtual button on the bottom. You tap once to go back, tap twice to go home, and you long press to go to the home screen, which I think is a bit of a typo. And how this works is that it uses Verizon's name number share service so that this Palm uses the same phone number as your smartphone. You don't have to use two separate SIM cards for this phone. And there's also a life mode which turns off your notifications until you turn your phone back on. Now, this will work 
with iPhones and Android phones, but the thing about iPhones is that you can't get iMessages on the Palm. So it prob if you are going to get this phone, you're going to have to stick to a standard text message. And the Palm will come in titanium and gold, and it will cost a whopping $349.99 and comes out this November. So, you know, when I was, like, in doing the research for this phone, I came across CNET's video talking about it where Jessica Dolcourt was going over the phone and I saw in the comments section a lot of people were like you know what's the point of this phone and trust me if you haven't figured out already I'm in that exact same boat and trying to figure out what the hell is the point of this phone because the thing about it for me is okay it's a small phone um this really tiny phone you know smartphones have gotten really big I mean Jesus Christ the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 has a 6.4 inch screen the iPhone 10 S Max has a 6.5 inch screen. So okay, they're getting too big. They do have a fair point, but my question there is, if this is like the tiny phone that's supposed to be designed to fit in your pocket, wouldn't it be, if you already have a harder time, hard time getting your big smartphone out of your pocket, wouldn't it be even difficult to get your smaller Palm phone out because it'll be dug deeper into your pocket? And if you're just gonna carry, like I saw on Palm's website, there was like a guy walking around with this kind of giant wristband. It almost kind of make it look like a purse. If you're going to carry it like that, where it's not in your pocket and you're carrying it on like a giant wristband, then what's the point? Why don't you just do that with your current large smartphone? So I just really don't understand the point of this thing. I mean, this phone is just making me realize, I know I often say that smartwatches aren't for me. They're for, you know, customers. I know I've definitely seen people and no new people person that use smartwatches like the Apple Watch and the Google Wear OS watches. But now I'm starting to realize those smartwatches that I, and still to this day, a lot of people are like, what's the point? I'll just use my phone. Now I'm realizing at least with a smartwatch, because it's on your wrist, you don't have to take it out of your pocket. So when you get in a hazy situation, like I remember watching a Wear OS commercial where this person was walking down the street hearing all this stuff. And, you know, obviously she couldn't reach into her pocket to get her phone. Her hands were, and had too much stuff to carry. So she would just, like, answer text or do a phone call just by talking to the watch. So at least smartwatches, as expensive as they are and how kind of redundant they are, they serve that kind of purpose for when you can't take your smartphone out of your pocket. Whereas in the case of the Palm, a secondary device that's a phone in itself that runs this weird version of, Android where the apps are scattered around I really don't see them especially for that price $350 I mean Jesus Christ that's the price for a good budget smartphone and what I really think Palm should have done is the idea of oh phones are getting way too big you know it's often a struggle to fit in the pocket that's a good, good like selling point just not this product what I think Palm should have done is maybe take some inspiration because this Palm device is a niche device anyways. It's not going to be as mainstream as the headphones you wear or the charging cable you use to charge your smartphone every night. What I think Palm should have done is come out with these smaller phones, kind of like a more modern version of the Palm Pre or the HP Pre 3, but running Android, you know, using the selling point, hey, you see all those really cool smartphones like the iPhone 10, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, and but they're all just too big, you know. Don't you want to go back to the days when phones were smaller? And trust me, back in the days of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, I was content with owning devices like the fifth generation iPod Touch because I liked having a smaller screen. I would have liked it slightly bigger, but I didn't need a really gigantic screen. So I know there's definitely an audience out there that would go for this phone. Again, I know it wouldn't be as mainstream as the Apple or Samsung crowd, but again, this Palm phone already is a niche device. And I, I'm sure there's a need out there for people who want all the really cool Android features, and maybe not even the best, as long as it's a mid-range processor, performs just fine, um, and it does everything just in a more compact size, then I think Palm and TCL would have an audience. Like, I think they would appeal to this crowd. As is the Palm that we got, the secondary phone. Not that there there isn't a need for secondary phones at all. Like, I'm four phones where... 
Like there's phones out there which are meant just for emergencies and they operate on AA batteries or phones that are specifically designed to be used internationally. Like if they have a second SIM card slot and let's say there's a person who wants to travel to Belgium, Italy or Switzerland and they're like, but I like the phone I have. It's just that I don't want to have to buy a second smartphone just for international travel so they could pick up another phone instead which is strictly meant for international calling so there's definitely a market for a secondary device like a smart watch or an emergency phone but which i kind of feel i'm realizing maybe that's another use for this palm phone that you could use in an emergency even though there's probably options out there for a lot cheaper if you just need a phone for calling in fact there are but As is, I just don't see the point in this product. I mean, if anything, it's making me realize as I'm speaking, hey, at least with smartwatch, it's on your wrist. So when there are times when you can't fish for your phone from your pocket, you have your smartwatch to talk to. And if you're looking for a phone strictly meant for international calling, like if you're traveling to a foreign country, I just think this phone is way too expensive. So, but please let me know your thoughts down below. Would you get this Palm? Are you, God, that name is so confusing. Would you get it? Are you interested in it? Do you see a point in using this phone? And please let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. If you have any ideas for tech-related news videos or smartphone videos, please feel free to email me. My email address is in the description, or you can also leave it in the comments. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all later. Hey guys, be sure to like this Blood Moon Bobby video if you enjoyed it. Please share this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. Be sure to ring the notification bell to be notified about my latest upload. Follow me on my social media pages at Blood Moon Bobby to find out about what I'll be covering next and for more of my opinions. Thanks for watching.